of IPNE as, or IPNE as we call it. I'm Charlotte Pierce. I'm your host and I'm a former president and officer at the organization. I currently uh, handle the regional groups for our six state region, the Independent Publishers of New England. So good morning, uh, Eddie, and tell us a little bit about you and how you got involved in IPNI. Well, hello. Um, thank you for having me, Charlotte. Uh, I got involved with IPNI because of you. Um, <laughs> I went to a conference in New Hampshire a few years back, and I was sitting at a table, and you were there having lunch with the rest of us, and we just started talking, and we kind of clicked, and things went from there. Uh, a few months after that, you asked me if I would be on the board. Uh, I still wasn't sure what IPNI was all about at the time, but I said, sure, I'll be on the <laughs> board. And from there, um, I got on the board the following year and uh, ended up as the president. And from there, we've been going forward ever since. Uh, I am the publisher uh, at Encircle Publication. We publish mystery books, and now we're getting into literary fiction. Um, mm -hmm. And I also have a graphic arts business doing book covers and design work for self-publishing authors. Um, but IPNI has become a big part of what I do and how successful we have been. Uh, we have uh, the events that we do for with and for IPNI have really paid off for Encircle Publications and for IPNI. So mm -hmm. it's been and, really good. And could you tilt your camera just a little away from the window? You're getting a, we, we are not getting the full mm -hmm. benefit of your visage. How's that? <laughs> that, that's a little better. Yeah, as long as it's not aiming at I'm it. not, I'm, I'm in my living room right now. So it's. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so as an independent publisher, you get to basically work where you want, right? Yes. I, everything I do, I get to work. If I'm traveling, I can work in mm -hmm. the hotel. If I'm at home, I can work in my living room or if I can work in my office, uh, anywhere. Cause everything is electronic and on my laptop. Yeah, that's cool. I, that's, I, I just, you know, at this point in my life, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't see, I live in the Boston area and I don't see, you know, wanting to drive or commute anywhere, but I love, this is my office too. This is my home. So. Yeah. Well, I live in the middle of nowhere in the woods of Maine. So, mm -hmm. um, never I'm know in, it. <laughs> I'm in a, an area where it's two miles in on a dirt road and I'm um, having success all over yeah. the, all over the internet. So it's how's, a, a how's, thing. how's your internet, um, you know, service there? Is it pretty consistent? Um, I don't like it, but it is what I have to deal with yeah. right at the moment. Um, I have a T1 line, which is a very slow internet mm -hmm. compared to what the standard is in today's mm -hmm. world. And it's a lot more expensive, but right. it is um, reliable. It's very right. reliable. Um, I wish I had satellite, but um, in my area with the trees and everything, satellite isn't really too much of an option. Right. But there is a new high speed service that has come to our town that I'm looking into that will uh, alleviate that problem, but I haven't nice. got it yet. Nice. And uh, as for getting back to IPNI, um, how do people, what, what's the philosophy of IPNI? Is it, is it, uh, do you provide services or, I, I mean, I kind of know the answer to this, but um, mm -hmm. the motto is collaboration or uh, where IPNI's Indies collaborate to make better books and sell more of them. So what does that collaboration mean? Well, it means different things to different people. Mm -hmm. Um, and how I, an how I answer this to new members that are, are thinking about joining or that have just joined um, is that you get what you put in. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be active, um, you get more out of it. And there is a lot of opportunity to network with people. Uh, it, so it, it all depends on what your goal is. If mm -hmm. me as an organization uh, is a trade organization for the publishing industry, 
Uh, we band together to learn from one another. We band together on doing uh, events like the Boston Book Festival, the New England Library Association, the mm -hmm. New Independent Bookstore Association conferences, and we co-op tables for that. Um, so we, I can send my book to to uh, the New England Independent Booksellers, which how many books bookstores will be there? Um, hundreds. I, I don't know the exact number, but mm. there'll be hundreds there. Uh, we'll have a table that we will co-op. Uh, there's a fee for members to put their book at the table. We, we're not allowed to sell, but we're allowed to speak to the people, obviously, that are coming to the table and try to promote members and IPNI as a whole. And booksellers can or order books, right? They can't just yes, buy them. Yes, yeah. they can order them, but they tend not to. That, mm -hmm. that is what I have found. It's um, kind of a re more of a relationship building. Yes, it's more of a relationship building. What I recommend to the members that do go, that, that do want to show their book, if they're available, uh, I say stop by. Come by and talk to the bookstore owners. Take that day. Um, I, we are able to buy badges for additional mm -hmm. members to go in the exhibit area. Okay. Um, and I recommend now, the, the hands-on. So part. being being there is very helpful if you have space for volunteers, right? I think it's vital, vitally important for people. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I don't I think, think I'm going to send my author down. We have a new, let me see if I can find it. Um, we have a new book. <laughs> yeah, it's this one. New children's book. Do you think children's books do well um, in the in at NEBA? Um, I think children's books do well everywhere, mm -hmm. um, but more so at the library event than at the book. Oh, okay, good to um, know. How about the Boston Book Festival? What sells it there? Again, you can actually sell books there, right? Yes, you can actually sell mm -hmm. books. When we do, when we uh, promote that. For IPNI members, we we ask for five books. Um, what I found with the Boston Book Festival is that children's books do sell well, but what sells best is when you have author signings. Um, we always do well at the Boston Book Festival as an organization, but individually, you're probably going to sell one to one to three books probably mm -hmm. uh there's almost always leftovers unless you take a signing spot which go fast because we're limited on how many we can have yeah i think i booked a signing spot because this book is just coming out and i'm hoping you did that, yeah great. you did um and my so author's the, local too so it's not right so that so that's really helpful on the sales um mm -hmm. the going to as an author or a publisher, going to the Boston Book Festival is very important because you get to walk around to, to meet other publishing industry people. Mm -hmm. There are other groups there that are uh, worth going and meeting and introducing yourself to. Um, but you're not, it, all of these events need to be looked at as a marketing tool, not necessarily as a profit center you're not going to necessarily make mm -hmm. a profit by going to these events. What you will do is make connections and then that will turn into profit down the road. Um, it's just so a you matter have to take of the getting... Long, you have to take the long view on it. So. That's what I would tell a new member. Yes, take yeah. the long view. Don't. It's not something that you're going to automatically see return on. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of what we do when educating one another is to share stuff like that. Like we have one board member, no, I'm sorry, two board members that swear by the New England Independent Booksellers Association. And not because they sold, it's because of what happened afterwards. They, they always saw improvement on their sales a month or two later. Interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, so it's not necessarily something you're gonna get immediate results on. So how do you make the most of a, of a show like that besides being there in person? Um, I mean, do you, is it good to take pictures, do a blog post, things like that? Or Well, I think for, for IPNI, um, not necessarily the members, but for IPNI, I think what 
what works best for that is to be able to show um, the bookstore owners and people that are selling books uh, what independent book seller book publishers are all about and encourage them to to embrace independent mm -hmm. publishers um, so it's just it's kind of like a holistic networking that you might find some bookseller that's going to order your books you might not but it, it's all about networking at these mm -hmm. events it's yeah. and that's why i like to try to get as like this year we have nine individuals that um i got badges for so there'll be nine individuals going in and out that day yeah. but not only that going to that show <clears throat> in person you're also going to be able to walk around to other professionals mm -hmm. in the industry like one of the things that i'm going to be looking for this year is a distributor and there'll be a distributor somewhere at that event that i'll be able to discuss distributing our books yeah so i know you've, you've found a couple of good like uh, I, were you talking about nebich just now or boston yes book? knowing yeah. Book, yeah i'm sorry I was but i know you found an amazing contact at the boston book festival a few years ago too and it, it was I found a, great... a couple of a couple of people at the mm -hmm. Boston Book Festival. I published both of them. Yeah, um, nice. How many so, books do you have yourself? I think if I had to, <laughs> if I had to put a number at it right now, I think we're close to publishing uh, seventy or eighty books at this yeah. moment. Yeah, wow. In two so in two are, years. Are you typical of an IPNI member, or do you? What's the range of of uh, books that it, it members publish are, are a lot of them uh, solo authors or what? I, I am a unique member, I think, <laughs> um, with the IPNI uh, membership. I, most of our members, not all of them, but most of those members are self-publishing authors. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many um, that have published two or three books. There are many that have started their own publishing company. They started off as self-publishing just themselves and mm -hmm. then have, you know, people re request for them to publish them. Um, yeah. But it's like one or two. So right. there, it's, it, there's a range. Right. But I would say most of our members at this point are self-publishing authors who are trying to promote their own books and, and make something of it and learn yeah. the business. And are we uh, supposed to use the term self-publishing now? Is that acceptable or does that still have a stigma to it? Um, well, in my opinion, it still has a stigma to it. Um, mm -hmm. I use it because that's what everybody understands. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's a real good term. Uh, independent publishing is another good term, I suppose. But it's uh, long. <laughs> it is, it is. But um, what I tell, authors that are interested in publishing their own work um they need to set up a publishing company name mm -hmm. and, and it doesn't have to be an llc or anything like that they can they just need to make their books not look like self-publishing and so, that's possible now because the technology is there you just have to guard against slapdash production values and make sure you don't just hire your great aunt to do the proofreading. Right? Well, I mean, your great aunt may be great. But <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to self publish, you, you need to put the money behind it as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you need to hire the professionals. I, I mean, unless you have that skill set, you mm -hmm. know, there are plenty mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. there, there are plenty of authors out there that have the skill set to do a lot of this themselves. But that said if you don't if you're not in the business of publishing and you don't have that skill set to yeah. format properly or to do a, a book cover that is professional looking mm -hmm. you need to get a team together and that team can consist of an editor a designer um and a marketing person and is that something that ipni can help with do you have a directory where i could find a proofreader an editor or you know somebody who's kind of uh got some 
vetting through the organization? Well, I wouldn't go as far as vetting, but okay. I, would, I would say that there, there is a resource on our site that you can see who has mm -hmm. those skill set, who is offering those services. I would not go as far as saying that yeah. we would say that one person is better than the other. We, right. we, okay. we just don't do that. Um, but you can get that information by being active and asking people who is good, who, who they can rely on. So showing up at the events and, and you sure. have, we, we have a Facebook group as well. Um, it's a closed group for members. I, um, yes, we have a Facebook group. Um, and we also have a public Facebook group. Uh, mm -hmm. so you can, you can always find us there, um, ask questions and, and get yeah. answers. Okay, we have about five more minutes, but I wanted to touch on like who who's who's on the board, who's behind, who's kind of running the organization now. Um, I I've got the board uh, page up from the website right now. Okay, and um, can you tell me a little bit about? Well, we heard about you, but how about the other people? Well, I can't really give their backgrounds because I don't know them all off the top of my head. Um, well, they're on well, here, so I mean, people can read them. You work with Jack. He does well, mentoring. Right. I, um, yes, I work with Jack. Jack has um, a company called Fictional Cafe, and he has been actively helping out with the conference, trying to get um, the bios of all the people that are speaking. We have uh, on our conference on November 2nd, mm -hmm. we have 19 speakers this year, which is great. And we have a lot of them. Um, really good speakers so you should check that out um and then we have some members leaving um the next one i think on that list oh no yeah joanne she, she's leaving um the board this year she's not leaving ipne she still wants to help out but yeah she, but she is leaving the board um stephen MacArthur, who owns rootstock publishing he um is very active on the board and he's going to be doing some events with me uh, this year. Nice. As, as of last year. Mm -hmm. So he's been a very good asset for the board and is very knowledgeable. Um, Bill Schubert uh, has been an inactive board member. He hasn't had the, uh, the time to put <laughs> the effort into it at this point due to some personal issues so yeah. so he's, but he's he, got a lot of great books out he's he he's does amazing. he has a lot of great books and he's an amazing man i've been on a couple of panels with him up in vermont with the regional groups and i just i love him so much he's he just he he wanted to help out but he you know yeah there, for reasons that right um, okay and ian is is ian uh, lamont he leaving he's he's Ian, uh, yes, Ian's leaving okay. because he needs to concentrate on publishing. Uh, <laughs> I know, duh. So, yeah, that's kind so, of what I did too. So he's leaving, uh, but, but again, another person who is still at, uh, we will be able to reach out to and get some very valuable information. Ian mm -hmm. is very. Uh, yeah, he's always willing to help. Yeah, like, he is very that. great. Uh, uh, he's great. And he's uh, won a lot of awards for his books, I know. So. Yeah, no, and he knows a lot about Amazon and things like mm -hmm. that. So he's someone you really want to know. Maybe we should have him on for an Amazon. I want to do Amazon advertising and Facebook advertising, but I just don't know what, how to get started and where to spend my money, you know, just. Well, Ian's great for that and so are I. So yeah. I, can, I can help okay, you with that good. as well. And are you uh, are you soliciting new uh, board members? Are you accepting nominations? We're in the, we're in the process right now of um, putting out uh, re requesting board members. We we have done that a couple of times, and so we're okay. still doing it. Um, the other board members, uh, Bill um, Cadero, he he owns a company. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. Mm. Um, but he, uh, uh, he's the one who worked on the conference, setting up the hotel and things like that. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. I, you know, he's always willing to, to help and yeah. give advice. I know. So how do people get a hold of IPNE? And well, the best way to get a hold of IPNE is go to our website. Um, and there should be a link somewhere on that homepage where huh. you can, contact us there you go yeah excellent okay and, and that will go that will actually come to me 
So I, I will get that email. Perfect. And just the final thing, how, what's your relationship with IBPA? Um, what's... IBPA is the um, national organization that we're an affiliation mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. We're an affiliate of IBPA. Okay. And do do they have a lot of good resources and you know or is there like a discount or something for IB, you can you can join IBPA with a discount if you're mm -hmm. a member of us and they have some great membership um, benefits that uh, are better than ours because they're so big mm -hmm. um, and they have a, a book awards coming up I know um, I think the deadline first deadline is October 1st I'm going to apply for that for this new book of Pierce Press and um, and it's it's a very well respected book awards would you yeah agree? no um, yeah. the Benjamin Awards is very well respected in the industry Benjamin um, Franklin Awards Benjamin Franklin Awards mm -hmm. um, so and that's, again, that's something the, really good and the conference is November first to the third still available to uh, oh early bird registration ends September thirtieth so we better get on that yeah what what's going to happen is uh, October 1st, it will go up $10. These are amazing people. Wow. Cheryl Rich and Robin Cutler with Ingram Spark. She's amazing. I've seen her in a uh, an IBPA webinar, I think. Yeah, Net, Net Galley. Um, Net no, Galley. We, have, we have a really good lineup, and, and I have to thank David for that, David. He's awesome, yeah. He, Shane, he, Shang, yeah. David Shang. Oh, he, Jeff Meyerson from Harvard Bookstore is going to be on. Oh, good. Yeah. So, no, and I really, am going to be really talking. We really do have a. We really mm -hmm. do have a good. We really do have a good lineup this year. And I'll be talking about uh, um, the regional groups, which is my role, you know, official role with IFNI now. But um, we're we're actually like, if anyone's out there listening, we're trying to um, provide support for our regional groups because this is a vast area. So we're we are willing to travel and send resources. Um, it like into photography and video of your author events. So take advantage of join IPNI and take advantage of those events. We'd love to uh, just you know get this regional group network a thriving and informing our uh, what our organization does. So so any any more thoughts on that um, on our on on the regional groups. The regional groups, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, on the regional groups, um, uh, we had a call-in call last night. We had a monthly call-in call last night, mm -hmm. and it came up in conversation. Mm -hmm. And um, we were looking for volunteers to start regional groups in every state so that we can put on bi-monthly or monthly meetings where people can get together, even if it's just five or six people getting together talking about publishing. Um, Absolutely. And there is a, a article on the on the um, that I wrote on the website um, about how to you know how they are how they're structured and how to get a hold of us to set one up. Yes, so I I think it's you know that that would be great for members because I think mm -hmm. there's a lot of questions that each member has. I mean, we were talking about um, advertising on Amazon last night, and it, the conversation went really well. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to, specifically, I was trying to find out information on how to advertise outside of the United States. And I've, I've run into a little bit of a problem, but, but I told the members, once I figure it out, I will be sharing that information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, I, you know, you've always been so helpful to me and I really appreciate you being on here. We've gone over a little bit, but, um, I think this is really helpful for people. Hopefully we can, um, you know, package up the link and send it out to the membership and and get some more groups going and that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm well, I'm going to share the link when I can. I'm going to share this link with a couple of our board members to get their take on what you and I just tried. You know, this, is the, first, this is the first time. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe they'll love it and maybe we'll be able to I think, do more know, of this. Yeah, this is kind of the I've heard that podcasting is the new blogging and and podcasting covers video and audio too, so we'll have both options. Well, I can talk publishing all day long. As long <laughs> as someone, as long as someone's throwing me questions, I can answer them. So <laughs> it's it's great been to, been great talking to you, Eddie. And uh, right. thanks again. We'll we'll uh, be in touch, and uh, we'll do this again.
All right. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you.